Kickstart summer at Lowe's with Memorial Day savings on major appliances like the smart Whirlpool top load washer featuring the two-in-one removable agitator and a color you'll only find at Lowe's. Take it out for bulky items. Leave it in for a more thorough clean. You can customize any load. Plus, skip steps with the load and go dispenser. Simply add detergent once and skip the refills. Memorial Day savings start now at Lowe's. Shop in store or online today. How long does it take to tackle a home project? With Angie, you could cross it off your list before this ad is over. Just tell us what you need indoor or outdoor, repair or redesign, and we handle the rest. Sending a top pro to get it done. You don't have to lift a finger, except to tap the screen or click the mouse. Plus, Angie is free to use. So bring us your next home project, and we'll bring it home. Download the app or go to Angie.com. That's A-N-G-I dot com to get started. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your home is going into foreclosure, and you feel like a financial wreck. You don't know where to turn for accurate information. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné. Let's talk about some legal options. If we work quickly, we can propose a plan to save your home, modify the loan, or in many cases, even eliminate your second mortgage. The consultation is free. I've helped hundreds of people just like you make informed decisions about whether to save their home or exit it on a reasonable, organized timeline. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. And the guys at Action Lab, they did a test because we need to know this. We need to know uh, what it sounds like when a car drives over a slab of molten lava. And, um, you know, I've thought that, about uh, this before. When you go to Hawaii and you see all like the, the volcano stuff, I'm like, what happens when like, if a volcano hits and like we have to v- drive as far away from it as possible? We'll take out the car. Oh yeah, I um, I feel like we would be in trouble. <laughs> yeah, just a tad. But how much in trouble? Like, like dead oh, trouble, oh. or man, my yeah. car is ruined. Trouble. Well, they, that I don't know. But uh, here's how it sounds. At least when these guys drove a car over some molten lava. Let's see what happens if, for some reason, you had to drive over a small amount of lava that came from an erupting volcano. Would it pop the tire? Okay. Okay, go. Oh, <laughs> okay, that was awesome. Look at the tire marks in it. That is so cool. Well, it even made a bubble in it. I didn't really know what to expect. I thought it might explode the tire, but it hardly burned any layer of rubber off at all. Man. Oh, wow. Tire companies should start making condoms, too. It seems like their rubber's indestructible. <laughs> right? Like 100% of the time. No problem. That's that's wild. Um, of course, it's a very small piece of molten lava that they yeah. go over, but true. Uh, still, I mean, it's nice to know that you know what, Steve. We, we, it's, uh, it's better than I thought. We could get the heck out of there. I don't know, man, because that little piece they drove over that, and it 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 set. I mean, the tire didn't like uh, you know melt or blow up, but it, it it was set to flame. So if you're driving in, over an entire thing of lava, I think your car is just going to be burnt. Yeah. You yeah, I don't, wanna, I don't want to try it. No. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Action Lab. Show us really what's going to happen. Yeah, I was going to say, if they really wanted you to test, fill up the whole room right. with lava. They're Come on. Action <laughs> Lab, a.k.a. a bunch of wusses. Yeah. <laughs> My yeah, volcano in high school what? was better than that. <laughs> yeah, with baking soda. Yeah. Those were the best. Those were super cool. Did everyone make that? Yeah. yeah. I never tried to drive my car over one of those. I probably should have. That would have been the best science experiment ever. Yeah, fair it's enough. Like, I'm actually you know, surprised my dad never did drive his car over ours just because like, we did something stupid. I'll oh, show yeah. you. I'll show you. There <laughs> <laughs> you go. Take this to science class. Oh, but then you get like the food coloring and the baking soda. Forget about it. <laughs> yeah. Forget about it. I can't it. wait. I hope they still do that. Okay, Danny, you're, you're a little bit ahead of the game when it comes to a child. Sure. So has Lily had to do that? No. Oh, boy. No, only I'm first grade, though. So hopefully maybe next okay. year, second grade, she's I mean, ready to go. You can just do it at home. It's not that hard. Yeah, well, why waste all that energy when I can't do it? I want to do it for a class. You want to get the grade yeah. or maybe yeah. exactly. the uh, prize. I don't know why in my head I'm like, oh, yeah, Lily, well, she's, she's been through the entire edu- you know, yeah, elementary school 18. system. Yeah, she's a teenager <laughs> now, right? Yeah. That's true. She's only going into first grade. So she's yeah. second. Second, sorry. Yes, she just finished first grade. Hooray. Nice.
Yeah, I don't know when they start throwing the volcano at you. Like if that's uh, third or fourth grade, I don't know. I, I can't remember. School. Like I, I remember doing it in middle school. I'm feeling like it's like fifth or sixth. Yeah. Oh, earliest. okay. All right. Well, you, you maybe you should practice so you, uh, you know, you look like you know what you're doing when it, when kind of you know the time comes with Tatum, Steve. Oh, like just be like like a seasoned vet. Like, yeah. No problem, babe. We got this. Yeah. Because I'll tell you, every time they needed my help, I was useless. And I thought, man, I went to school. Why am I so bad at helping my kids? <laughs> <laughs> See, I probably would like, have to like tone it down, though, because I'd want to get like real creative with it. Like have like a body hanging out from the top of the volcano like that's being burned. You know, like, so, oh, oh, wow. Okay. All right. I don't know. Right. Like a little monster coming out of it. Wow. Well, you could, uh, well, uh, yeah, you could do Pompeii and have a whole, basically a whole society wiped out. You'd right. really be that guy. Oh, might be fun. Yeah. Have like little Lego minifigs just kind of hanging out. <laughs> oh, no. Melt some of them with like some fire or something. Yeah, we'll all do the voiceover for it, for the recording, and then Boom. we'll put it in the in the things, and we just will also be screaming. We all have the, we have the technology. Yeah, we do. Easy. <laughs> yeah, we do. And uh, also, we're probably going to have to have meetings, mental health meetings, if your kid brings <laughs> in a Pompeii scene. I mean, like, I swear she had nothing to do with any of this. This is all dad's idea. Do not yeah. send her to the gu- guidance counselor. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's fine. fine. She's she thought fine. it was weird, too. Yeah. <laughs> Well, sir, maybe we need to send you to the guidance counselor. Yeah, well, that's, you know. Uh, Freak Show just texted us, said that they don't do the volcano anymore, at least in Federal Way. Why? What's wrong with Fetty Way? I don't know, but that's why I don't live there. It's one of the big reasons. (laughs) Yeah, they do it in in Puyallup. They they better. If not, I'm running for mayor again. (laughs) <laughs> oh, all right. So Puyallup still does the volcano science experiment, but Federal Way has graduated beyond that. It's too what good they, for it. What do they do? What, what do you do then? I mean, that's the coolest experiment ever. There, there, there's nothing cooler looking than that for a little kid. Do you guys ever have to do the virtual stuff? Like in science class, so like ours was like instead of dissecting a real frog, we had it all on the computer. Oh no, we had to Boring. actually dissect a frog in, in high school. See, well, maybe they're doing like the virtual volcano now, and then we would like throw body parts at each other. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. you had to throw the body parts. Well, you guys got out of actually having to do the gross out part of having the dead frog in front of you. Yeah, some say gross out, others say fun. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I totally science. You could pick what science classes you wanted, so I cheated and I went to horticulture. So I learned how to do all the plant stuff because I really did not want to dissect. I think they, it was like a tiny pig too. No, I wouldn't want to mess with that either. Oh, the no. fatal pig. Yeah, oh, yeah. frog. Yeah. Uh, see, we did we did uh, uh, sheep brains. Oh, jeez. Yeah. And all right. One of the guys I was uh, working with uh, with uh, he uh, ate a piece of the brain for a quarter. Oh. Yeah, I did. Why? Because it was, it was a quarter, man. City folks just don't get it. <laughs> don't you understand how good damn sheep brains are? I was a real winner, buddy. Put some A1 steak sauce on it. <laughs> Delicious. Delicious. Well, like yeah, A1 nice. fixes a lot of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I'll put it on a volcano at this point. We got a woman. Her name is Booze. And, yep, guess what? Booze, she was arrested. But was alcohol involved? <laughs> Oh, Steve will let you know. He's got the mix report for you at 619 on The Rock. DJ and Mix mornings on The Rock at 99.9 KISW. Kickstart summer at Lowe's with Memorial Day savings on major appliances like the Smart Whirlpool Top Load Washer featuring the two-in-one removable agitator and a color you'll only find at Lowe's. Take it out for bulky items. Leave it in for a more thorough clean. You can customize any load. Plus, skip steps with the load and go dispenser. Simply add detergent once and skip the refills. Memorial Day savings start now at Lowe's. Shop in store or online today. How long does it take to tackle a home project? With Angie, you could cross it off your list before this ad is over. Just tell us what you need indoor or outdoor, repair or redesign, and we handle the rest. Sending a top pro to get it done. You don't have to lift a finger, except to tap the screen or click the mouse. Plus, Angie is free to use. So bring us your next home project, and we'll bring it home. Download the app or go to Angie.com. That's A-N-G-I dot com to get started. 99.9 K-I-S-W, The Rock of Seattle. If you're hearing an informative newscast right now, well, then you must not be listening to BJ and Migs. Live from the KISW News Center in downtown Seattle, this is the Migs Report. Well, thanks, you guys. Thanks to Beacon Plumbing, Heating, and Mechanical for giving us uh, the Migs Report. And today, pucker up, everybody. It's time to smooch. 
It's National Kissing Day. Hooray! Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yes, that's right. Yeah. I'm the only one that's actually gone to school, so I think I'm the only one really trained in the art. It's because I was just born great at kissing. You had to go to school to learn how to kiss. <laughs> oh, yeah. You were born <laughs> great already. Many months or years as a teen kissing pillows. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say, I've had a lot of practice in my youth. Yeah. I bet you have. And On the then- mirror? Yeah, yes, yes, the mirror, <laughs> of course. Mm. It's also National Onion Rings Day, so I don't know, maybe eat the onion rings after you kiss somebody. Oh, gosh, uh, yeah. yeah. It's a good point. Onion rings are delicious. Yeah. Unless you eat them together, then you don't really know. Aw. That is a good point. Then you're just sharing onion breath. Yeah. And what says love that. more than onion breath? <laughs> oh, but onion rings, come on now. That's worth kissing over. I mean, onion breath, definitely better than alcohol breath when it comes to when you're driving. Uh, because oh, yeah, this oh, woman, yeah. She was pot for uh, drinking and driving. And she's, uh, she lives in Florida, shockingly. She's 34 years old. And the reason why she got arrested and caught was because, well, she crashed her car into a Taco Bell sign. Oh, damn. I, she also hit the Taco Bell's uh, water meter and a tree as well. So hopefully the Taco Bell is going to be okay. Yeah. Uh, and fortunately, didn't hurt anybody other than maybe her pride because, well, her name is Kanisha, but her last name is Booze. It yep. just seemed like destiny, didn't it? I mean, it's like, what was it? That? Remember that basketball player? I think he played for like Utah Boozer. You know, just like, that was always funny. He played in like a town where there was no alcohol. Yeah. Was like, his name's Boozer. And I think there was a football player, Emerson Boozer, back in the day, if I'm not mistaken. Football or baseball, I can't remember. So there have been some Boozers out there. But her last name is spelled B O O Z E, which would be great on a jersey. I mean, if you're like, oh. this, yeah, right. For a personalized jersey, like a Seahawks jersey, number 12, Booze. That is, wow, that is a bizarre last name. Booze. Yeah. I've never heard of that as a last name. Well, she was arrested. And yeah, so, she was. Because <laughs> she just can't be drinking and driving. No. And now, did, she think, it, did she think because that was her last name, she got a pass? Oh, it's is her that, God-given right? I yeah. I, 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 you know, she didn't say that, BJ. Yeah. That would have been the defense I think I would have used. My last name is Booze. Okay. Man, so let's head on over to Saskatchewan, Canada, where well, a guy was out mowing his lawn on Tuesday evening last week and noticed that there was a couple outside on his lawn making sweet love. Ah! Wow, on his lawn? Yes. Okay. They're doing it on his lawn as he's mowing the lawn. Wow, that's quite a show. So the guy's mowing his girl's lawn while he's... Oh, I see what you're saying. Stuff going on. <laughs> okay. So... At, at, instead of stopping, they got mad at the guy for yelling at them. I mean, he literally said, get off my lawn. Yeah. And they start throwing rocks at the guy who owns the house and also owns the lawn. Yeah, that's, uh, wow. The cops show up, but uh, they're already gone by the time the cops show up, and uh, they're still looking for it, them. I think it should be easy to find. They're just guys who like to bang on lawns. Well, I, I hope that they take a, maybe pump the brakes on banging on lawns. I see what you did there. And, well, weird segue, but we have a story about a man who's known as the nut thief. The nut thief? Uh, Yes. (laughs) Apparently, this guy has stolen more than 42,000 pounds of pistachios from a company that he worked for. He was arrested for stealing all these pistachios. I guess he was trying to embezzle them over the course of time because this happened from uh, 2014 to 2017. And they say it resulted in a loss of over $7.6 million worth of nuts. Wow, okay, that's, uh, you know, for a minute I thought, well, he was just probably having it for himself, but that's a lot more nuts. No, I love pistachios, but I mean, he took about around 42 million pistachios, if you count wow. it up, to be about 42,000 pounds of pistachios, and yeah, he had a tractor trailer that was parked in a parking lot, and it was full of all the pistachio nuts, and he was repackaging them to sell them. He put them in 2,000 pound sacks. And he's going to resell them. Whoa, okay, so this was... This was... Uh, yeah. <laughs> so imagine, taking, dude is yeah. a massive nut thief. He is. He was, These were huge loads of nuts that he was taking uh, at one time. <laughs> Man, I got hit up for speakers from a guy in the back of his truck. If someone said, hey, I got 2,000 pound bag of nuts for you. Yeah. Well, first of all, I'd have to like... You know, consider the source, and then secondly, yeah. be like, let me see these nuts. Uh, pistachios, though, you like them. I and love he, pistachios. We, and you'll be like, what are you selling? What nuts? And he'll say, these nuts I'm selling. Ah. These nuts. That's nuts. what I'm selling. You know who's nuts? Your Seattle Mariners. They seem to have figured out ways to win and beat Woo! a good team in the Tampa Bay Rays. They swept them. Four games, BJ. That Won is them insane. All. They're that two games over insane. 500. 
Dude, the Tampa Bay, yeah, Tampa Bay was pretty much the top of the East. They're not anymore because the Mariners swept them right out of first place. And the Mariners didn't even lose yesterday. Granted, they didn't play, but they played yeah. again tonight. Yay. They're uh, taking on the, the Colorado Rockies at home. And Danny got to go to, was it, the Father's Day game where they won with the Grand Slam in the ninth yeah. inning? Yes, sir. I think Lily's the the lucky, the luck charm. Yeah, because you brought your daughter. She just yeah. She's here in Seattle for the first time. Yep. And you brought her to a Mariners game on Father's Day. It was the best day ever. And then it was the best ending to a baseball game I've ever seen in Seattle. Seattle, so it was amazing. Did she enjoy going to a baseball game? She did. She loved all of the, she eat? mostly the food. Yes, I was going to say. She got <laughs> cheese pizza. She got popcorn. She got Dippin' Dots. She uh, also got... Uh, see, BJ Dippin' Dots. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, that's because Danny's a bad parent. Wow. Wow. Great There's parent. better ice cream to have at that ballpark than Dippin' Dots. Well, there is the ba- the, the helmet ice cream, which yes. I agree that the helmet Sunday might be the best. The yeah, problem is, is there's a lot of vendors that aren't open right now. Oh. So the long lines for specific ones were a little bit too much. So we went to the, the ones that we could. And we should also, you would respect this, got a pretzel. Ah, yeah. yeah. I had a girl. Well, they're opening <laughs> up, uh, they're going to open up to full power, uh, letting everybody yes. in yep. uh, very, very soon. Yep. As of July 1st, I believe. Uh, did they have a, a giveaway? Not that I saw. Oh, I remember one year I went on a Father's Day, and I wasn't a dad at the time. I still took the T-shirt, and it was a yeah, Mariners T-shirt, and on the back nice. I had the number one and then dad. That's awesome. I oh, dude, it. so you can wear it now. I don't know where that shirt is. <laughs> oh, man. I used to wear it, though. <laughs> well, I guess you were a dog dad. I yeah. guess that's somewhat yeah. counted. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. I'm glad that she got to witness a win. I know. I'm exci- Well, she was excited, too, especially because they do the fireworks every time they do any kind of home run. And they got, like, two that day. So it was like, she was like, fireworks! And I was like, yeah! I didn't know they did that. <laughs> totally <laughs> planned it for you, babe. Yeah, I made it for you. <laughs> I called Kevin over at the Mariners, and we made it happen. We're going to have to go oh, to another yeah. one, though, because she wants to get on the big screen. That's her big goal. Oh, I want to be on the big screen, Dad. Of course and I was she like, does. I don't know if that's going to happen, but Just we'll be happy try. with the damn dip and dots, kid. <laughs> right. Damn. <laughs> You know what? I got a big screen for you. I'll film you on my phone and I'll put it up against your face. Yeah. There you go. You're on the big screen. I feel like, though, so I, I, uh, I saw the video Danny took. I think the uh, kid on the shoulders dancing might get yes. you on the big screen. We were trying. We were trying yeah. hard. You got to get the attention of a camera person. And yeah. It's big, yo! Her! her. Yeah, you got you to go on the field, and the guy who has the first base camera, where I mean, granted, they're filming the players, but I'm sure he won't mind you jumping out in front just, of him. Just jump the field. Yeah. Yeah. If you want me to go streaking, I get you. Keep your clothes on. <laughs> 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 have your daughter with you. No, you That's, have your daughter. We you don't do want to us. When it's yeah. us, we do that. Yeah. Also, yeah. she really loves Mariner Moose. Oh, who doesn't? Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. We got to get a picture with her in the moose. Oh, she got her first game certificate. Did you know they did that? No. Yeah, I didn't know this either. We they were, give you a first game certificate? Yeah, we were walking around, and they the, one of the employees was like, hey, are, is, uh, how are you enjoying your day? She's like, great, it's my first day. And they're like, go to customer service and tell them your name. And they have a whole certificate with her name on it. It says first Mariners game. Dude, I'm doing that for every Mariners game I go to. You should do it. It's so cool. I'm trying to Yeah, I never got one. It's the shrimp cocktail thing all over again. It is. <laughs> it's something free. Things ain't free at Mariners games, man. All right. <laughs> Take yeah, what wait, you can yeah. get, right? Yeah, and I'll go there, and of course they go, we don't do that. I don't know what those people your friends are talking about. <laughs> um, uh, the, man, dude, hockey, the Stanley Cup uh, semifinals. I, I don't know if you were watching any of that game yesterday, but it was pretty much over once it started. Tampa Bay Lightning just crushed the Islanders 8 nothing. Whoa. I'm, man, that just doesn't happen usually in playoff hockey. They just That's demoralizing. Yeah, so now they're up three games to two. Tampa Bay is. Tonight you got Montreal and Vegas. Two games apiece they're tied at. We'll see what happens with that game. And uh, in, in local hockey news, it's nice to be able to bring up something about our Seattle Kraken. They just announced they have a new acquisition, BJ. Oh, yes. Their very first television color analyst, and it's a man by the name of J.T. Brown. He used oh, to play in the NHL. The- yeah, you said, speaking of the Lightning, he played for them, didn't he? Yes, he did. Yeah. He did. He played for a, a few teams, also Anaheim, Minnesota. It was great because he goes, I'd like to announce my retirement. And then he was like, dot, dot, dot. And I'd also like to say that I'm coming out of retirement to be a television analyst. So it's pretty nice. awesome. And it was cool to see him and his family. A uh, picture of them all rocking the crack in gear. Uh, everything, uh, it just sounds like an awesome dude. So I'm, I'm pretty pumped about that. So he'll be joining uh, John Forsland as part of the broadcast team for Root Sports when uh, Kraken starts their inaugural season this year. Very cool. That's very awesome. And I think we're like 30 days away from the uh, from uh, the expansion draft or right around that. So getting closer. Hopefully oh, we can get uh, JT boy. on our, our show at some point in the near future to talk about the expansion draft. Uh, as far as weather, 81 degrees today. It's going to be sunny. It's going to be like in the 90s by the end of this week. Dude. Yeah, it's going to be a beating. Uh, yes. Uh, Sarah's got an outdoor wedding she's got to go to on Saturday. Oh, get ready to sweat. Hopefully yeah, it's a bikini it's- wedding.
Yeah, really. <laughs> oh, man. Otherwise, now. <laughs> and uh, thanks to Kia Piot for giving us a major report, and that's what's up. Yeah. Yesterday, nice. Steve, he did get this one wrong. What species of poisonous spider has an hourglass pattern on its abdomen? Tarantula? No. Spider. Spider. No. Charlotte? No. Spider Spider. Spider, it's, uh, spider. it's a movie I'm looking forward to seeing in a couple weeks or so. Black Widow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very, very excited. As a, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be seeing it in a the movie theater, too. Ooh. Ooh. I'm a fancy boy. You want a shot at Biggie Steve? You got it. 206-421-ROCK. We're playing Beat Migs at 647 on the rock. Today's podcast is brought to you by bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagne, who's ready to answer your questions about bankruptcy. Travis, is it true that if you file for bankruptcy once, you can't file again? Even if you filed bankruptcy before, you can almost certainly file bankruptcy again. Different types of bankruptcies have different time limits between filings. In Chapter 7, full bankruptcy, you can only file Chapter 7 once every eight years. However, you can always, almost always file a Chapter 13 case. Chapter 13 cases can be filed uh, immediately following a Chapter 7. They can be filed immediately following a prior Chapter 13 case. Chapter 13 is a reorganization plan, so there will be some type of monthly payment, but it's based on your budget and your ability to afford that payment. So Chapter 13 is an option in almost all cases, uh, even with a prior bankruptcy filing. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. That's choosetherightchapter.com. Thanks for listening. Kickstart summer at Lowe's with Memorial Day savings on major appliances like the Smart Whirlpool Top Load Washer featuring the two-in-one removable agitator and a color you'll only find at Lowe's. Take it out for bulky items. Leave it in for a more thorough clean. You can customize any load. Plus, skip steps with the load and go dispenser. Simply add detergent once and skip the refills. Memorial Day savings start now at Lowe's. Shop in store or online today. 